everyone, it's Anna, Chloe, and Christina, and welcome to the Speak Out podcast, where we bring awareness to current socio-political issues. In light of Black History Month, today we are going to talk about a topic important to not only our community, but the entire state of Florida, that being the ban of AP African American Studies in high schools. For those of you who don't know, in 2021, College Board introduced the AP African American Studies course and officially started piloting the course in 2022. However, in January of 2023, the course was banned by the Florida Department of Education as they claimed it, quote unquote, significantly lacked educational value and is inexplicably contrary to Florida law. Some concerns the board had regarding the course were the topics surrounding queer studies, intersectionality, and prison abolition. Mind you, none of the people on this board have a degree in education or practice in the field. This has raised some speculation about whether the department is fit to be writing legislation on education when they don't actively study it. You're so right. A lot of people feel that way. In fact, many would argue that the ban of AP African American Studies is part of a larger battle of educational censorship within the state of Florida. This ban comes after the Stop Woke Act, which was officially enacted by Governor Ron DeSantis in July of 2022. In summary, the Stop Woke Act prohibits education regarding racial matters and critical race theory. Censorship within education has been a continuity in the state of Florida over the last few years. Another relevant example of this is the Parental Rights in Education Bill, more commonly known as the Don't Say Gay Bill. This prohibits instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in classrooms for kindergarten through third grade students. I think I speak for all of us as high school students and AP students that it doesn't feel right to be stripped of possible educational opportunities because a board of people decided that it lacked educational value, especially when that group of people have no background or credible degree within education. I completely agree. As a minority myself, I don't take the erasure of history lightly, especially when there are an abundance of courses available to students that educate on the history of other groups. Some examples of this being AP European history or AP Japanese language and culture. On a separate note, it's also important to be aware that the U.S. was built off of slavery. So to say that African American history is insignificant would be absurd and completely incorrect. As students in Florida, we encourage you to use your voice and call your local superintendent, expressing your thoughts and or concerns. You can also help by signing and sharing the petition at bit.ly slash apstudiesband.com. Additionally, if you are 18 and can vote, we urge you to vote in the next election and be the voice of the change you want to see. We hope that all of you learned something new in today's episode. We encourage you to stay informed, teach your friends, and spread the word, because as history has taught us time and time again, there is strength in numbers. So as we close out this episode and celebrate Black History Month, we want you all to remember the following. Black history is American history. Thank you all for listening and have a great day.